Hey everybody, if you're thinking about making that move here to Utah, then you need to watch this video as I go over 14 negative things about actually living here in Utah in 2023. I've lived here about two years now. I absolutely love living here, but I wanted to share with you some things that may make you not want to make that move here. So let's get started. Number one on the list is the weather here. So the first year that we were here, the weather was really, really hot in the summertime. We had days over 100 degrees. I think it went got up to 105, 107. This year, not so hot, which is awesome, even though the news is playing it up like it's the hottest summer ever, but it's not that hot here this year. And you just need to know, are you comfortable having all four seasons? Utah has a real summer with heat because we're in the desert. We have a fall where all the leaves change colors and it's beautiful. The weather is super nice. It's not too cold. Then winter time it comes, it snows here. This last year it snowed a ton. We thought it was never going to stop snowing and it was cold a lot. The first year we were here, it wasn't so bad. It snowed enough where the kids got to have fun and we had a day or two where it was a little unpleasant to maybe drive around. But other than that, it was awesome the first year of springtime. The snow starts to melt, the temperatures start to warm up. You really, really look forward to spring after having a a nice long winter so that's super cool and then summer of course are already covered so that's something that you need to be aware of is the weather here in utah and if you still want to make that move then you probably could just stop watching the video here Welcome back everybody, I'm Greg Spackman and I'm with the Living in Salt Lake City channel. So you want to learn everything about what it's like to live here, eat here, sleep here, play here, then click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I do new videos. I've been getting a ton of people that are just like you that are reaching out to me about making that move to Utah and I absolutely love it. So if that's you, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email and I'll help you get on your way here to Utah. Number two on the list is the grid system or street naming, and that's going to take some getting used to. It took me a little over a year to really start to get it. And what I mean by the street naming is the streets are numbered. So it's like 1000 by 400. And so you'll you will learn that that grid system aligns with uh, certain temples. When you first get here, it gets very, very confusing, makes no sense to you. You will much rather have it be named, you know, Broadway Boulevard instead of the numbers. However, after you've been here, you've acclimated to Utah, you will absolutely love the grid system because then you'll know exactly where you're going to be based on those coordinates. And so it just takes a little bit of time to get used to that. The number three thing that you may not like about Utah, however, I really love this about Utah, but that's that people here love the outdoors from snow skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, snowmobiling, everything that you're going to be able to do in the snow. You know, Utah does have the best snow on earth. And so all of that that you get to do in the wintertime, springtime through the fall, you're going to be able to do all your outdoor sports. You're going to be able to take your boats out. You're going to fish and fly fish and kayak and canoe, paddleboard, just everything that you can do on the water, you can do throughout those three times of the year, typically, unless it gets too cold. But if for sure in the summertime, during the summer, the lakes are just full with people, everybody enjoying the water sports here. And so if you aren't a big outdoor person, then Utah may not be the best state for you because of how much stuff we have in the outdoors. We have the five national parks that you can go visit, just a ton of things to do in the outdoors. And hopefully you love that as well as I do. The number four thing that you may not like about Utah, and that's that so many people in the state of Utah are LDS or Mormon uh, faith. And that's because Utah was pretty much founded by them. Other than the natives that were here prior to them coming, they were they pretty much founded Salt Lake and all of Utah in general. So you're going to find that about half of the population here is of that faith. I think the number of active uh, members in the church is somewhere around the 30% range. So that has been dwindling. But as more and more people relocate here to Utah that aren't of that, it kind of lessens and lessens the numbers. However, having been here two years, I can tell you that you won't see it be an issue at all. I was told when we were going to move here that, hey, are you Mormon? Is that why you're making that move here to Utah? And that wasn't the case. 
And so we thought that maybe it might be an issue. We heard some stories about our kids in school or, you know, being able to get jobs or working with people in real estate. And I can tell you that it is absolutely not an issue. It's a non-issue at all. The people from the LDS church are super, super nice, super welcoming, typically very, very friendly. So you will see that that's part of why Utah has such friendly people, I believe. And then just everyone else that moved here brought that culture with them. The number five thing you may not love about Utah, and that's that there are a ton of kids. Typically every year, Utah is ranked number one or number two as far as having the most children. It's pretty common here in Utah for families to have five plus kids. You will still see people with, you know, the 10 to 12 kids where they have their huge cargo vans and jumbo jet liners and everything to haul them all around in. But you're going to see large families here still. It isn't as large as what it used to be. As things have gotten more and more expensive, you've seen the family size go down some from what it used to be. But you're still going to see plenty of large families that are here in Utah. Number six thing about Utah that I dislike, and that's after being here, is the traffic and the terrible drivers. And I thought coming from Nashville when we moved here that, that Nashville had really, really bad drivers. Well, Utah drivers are on par as being worse or the same as their we have people that run red lights here, very, very common. So like my son that just got his license, we had to sit him down and talk to him about when the light changes colors, just to wait that extra half second or two to make sure no one's running the red light. He can't just punch it off the line like you want to do, but he is, you know, young. So it'll take a little bit of getting used to for him as far as that goes on the freeway interstates, people drive really, really fast. And I, don't know if they drive like that where you are. Comment below if you think you have awful drivers and let me know what you think about your drivers where you are and where you're coming from. But they will drive 90, 100, 110 on the freeway and it's just not all that safe. And then they do lots of different lane changes. The newest thing that I've been noticing that seems to be happening, and I don't know who taught these people this, and I didn't realize it for the first year, year and a half, of this going on, but that's that people turn their blinker on and then just turn into your lane. I don't know if that they feel like that gives them the right to just turn into your lane no matter what, but that's what people are doing lately and it's awful. And I've almost been hit two or three times from people just turning into my lane where I had to slam on my brakes just to uh, deal with not getting hit. And then as far as traffic goes, I think traffic is just getting worse and worse and worse here in Utah as more and more people move to Utah. The freeways get more congested. The side roads get more congested. For the most part in Utah, we have I-15 as the major freeway. And so while they've expanded it in certain parts of the state, it's not what it should be. It needs to be wider. The other surface roads are just not all that great. You know, when you're down in St. George, you got I-15 and then some other roads around it, but you don't have any major freeways that you're going to be able to use to get around down there. And then Northern Utah, the same sort of thing. We just, we don't have the road infrastructure that we really should have to alleviate a lot of the traffic problems. If you are coming from some of the top cities like Los Angeles, Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, New Jersey, then you really know what traffic is like. And you'll probably think, or you could comment below and let me know, but you're going to feel that traffic is not an issue at all. Uh, it just is once you've been here a while in Utah, you're going to see that traffic is something that bothers you. The number seven thing to make note of here is we are landlocked. And by landlocked, I mean we are we do not have an ocean any side of us, you know, north, south, east, west of us. We have diff just states that border us. So if you love the ocean or like visiting it, you're going to have to either catch a flight or drive in your car. You're looking at like a 10-hour drive to Los Angeles to get to the ocean so just know that you can't do the ocean sports or just hang out on the beach like that. There are some lakes that have really nice beaches, sandy, so you're going to be able to get your beach fix kind of that way. It'll just be different than having the ocean waves roll in. Number eight thing on the list is Utah is a very conservative state. It is still a red state. It is not switching sides anytime soon. We are staying as a red state. So if that is something that bothers you, then Utah may not be the best state, but Utah is pro-gun, do not have the lottery here, and the alcohol rules, which is number nine on the list. Alcohol rules here in Utah are some of the worst, most stringent in the nation. So if you drink alcohol, know that 
you're going to be going to the state run liquor stores to get any sort of any sort of real alcohol, whether that's wine or your Jack Daniels or your above 5% beer, you can get typical beer and seltzers from the grocery store or from gas station. So you can get it that way. The DUI limit here in Utah, 0.05%. So that's one of the lowest in the entire nation. Alcohol has never been a major reason to live in Utah. We are one of 17 states that has the state-run liquor store, so we aren't the only one, but we just have some of the most strict laws in regards to that. When you're out at a restaurant, they have to make mixed drinks around the, within 30 feet of where children can be, so they're going to typically do it a little bit differently. There's a few different ways that they can handle that. When you go to a bar, you're not going to be able to bring your kids to the bar to eat if it's labeled a bar. So like one of the places we like to go, we can't bring our kids to go eat there. So you just got to be aware of some of the alcohol rules if alcohol is really, really important to you. If it's not, then hey, number nine is not a big issue. And it's not really for me. If I want to go grab a, if I want to go grab a beer, it's not a problem to go get that when I want one. The number 10 thing on the list here of things you may not like about living in Utah, and that's there are four different areas kind of to live in in the state. So you have Northern California where it's not as hot. It typically gets more snow. Not as many people live up there. Then you have the Central Utah, which I would consider Salt Lake and Provo, that area where the majority of the population is. And so that's hotter. It does get snow, but the mountains get the majority of the snow. So you will have a winter, but you get all four seasons. So that's awesome. Then you have like East Utah and East Utah, I consider like Moab and that has a different feel to it. And Moab is amazing. I love going out there with my Jeep and going four wheel driving. It's the best place I think to go. And then they have one of the national parks out there, but that's the East side. And then Southern Utah, you have your, St. George. And St. George is awesome. We've been a few times, we've rented an Airbnb down there. It's great just to get away from Salt Lake City where it's been warmer. And St. George is not that far from Las Vegas. So it's an awesome place to live if you want to not live in Nevada, but you want to live in Utah. St. George is fabulous. And it has much, much milder winters. And although it does get really hot in the summer, so hotter than it does in Salt Lake City. But I think people deal with that. So it's sort of like Palm Springs-ish is what I kind of equate it to. But so that's Southern Utah. How do you pick where you're going to live? Well, that's one of the things that you got to give me a call and you got to reach out to me so that I can help you pinpoint which of those four areas is best for you. The number 12 thing you might not like about Utah, and that's air quality. Utah has some of the worst air quality in the entire nation. We have the inversion layer that happens where cold air is trapped by warm air and it causes uh, really, really poor air quality. We have fires that blow their smoke from California that causes an issue or other states, Oregon did it too. Just we have some of the poorest air quality, especially in the central uh, state area. So just know if air, if you need really good air quality, then Utah might not be the best place, but you can do your own research on the air quality. And if you have asthma, that can cause an issue as well. But um, for the most part, this year, it's been pretty good for air quality. We haven't had as many alerts as we did last year. So it maybe runs in cycles. We'll just see how that goes next year. Number 14 thing you might not like about Utah, and that's the home prices and the affordability factor. Utah is becoming less and less affordable every single year as more and more people relocate here. So that's one of the reasons you need to move here sooner so you get in and make more money when you have your home. But the amount of homes being built in Utah is just not keeping up with the amount of people moving here. So that's driving prices up higher and higher. And it really depends on where you're moving from. When we help people that move from some of the states with low home prices, like if your average price is in the two to $400,000 range, then Utah seems really, really expensive. So if you're moving from an area in the United States where home prices are, you know, north of 800,000, then Utah is still really affordable for you. You're going to be able to sell your home there, pocket some money, get a home here and have a cheaper mortgage payment than what you typically currently have other than where our interest rates are right now. Hopefully you've made it this far. Really, Utah is a great place to live. I absolutely love living here. If you're considering making that move here, please give me a call and let's talk about making your move here to Utah fabulous. 
Don't forget, subscribe to the channel so that you're notified every time I do new videos. Until next time, be rad.